so here we are in hall. Where are we now? Right now? I'm completely lost. Hall eight, I think. If I'm correct. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hall eight. The talents, interior design, tableware, and accessories area. Now, if you've seen some of these videos before, you know I get quite passionate about the uh, young talents and the, the next generation of design and manufacturers who bring their, their products to the ambienta to do, do one thing. I mean, catch people's eyes, uh, potentially sell some product, but also just a chance to sort of get some feedback as to, on, on their new ideas and their latest designs. This lady's made some uh, rings and jewellery from materials that I think she, she explained to me before, from glasses, so um, seeing eyeglasses, same material. And as we walk through, you'll see everything from uh, jewellery through to furniture made with what I would say is recycled tyres, if I'm uh, correct. Can you be maybe, hello, Ben Wilson from Ambienta Facebook Live team. We walked past before, we were, sort of, we're doing a bit sneaky this time, we haven't said we're going to talk about this bit of a chat. These two um, smiled really big when we walked past before, so great to come by. So where are you from and what, what are you making here? Okay, my name is Matilda Payne. We're from Ghana and we recycle. We basically upcycle all waste. Ooh. Yes. And you obviously love tyres. Ty tyres one of your favourite material? No, anything, any material that we get hold of that we think we can use, we use them. And your background, design, or what, what's your, what's your, what, do you, what do you do when you're not making recycled furniture and jewellery? I'm a pure science student. <laughs> Using your brains to solve the problems the world has. Nice. And yourself? Electronic engineer. Nice. So you're, you're actually doing the welding and the, the engineering behind it? Both of us. We design and uh, we have workers we work with. Cool. Yes. Well, all the best. Hopefully you had a good first couple of days. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, enjoy the rest of it and uh, Instagram Extreme Upcycle. I'll check it out later on. Okay. Take care. So there we go. There's, we've got new materials being made. You've got uh, materials being recycled and renewed in the sense of uh, finding something that's got value. I mean, materials, what's happening more and more these days, the society and, and consumers and customers out there are starting to understand when something's made, it's sold. It has a, 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 a cradle to grave. It's the idea of it being passing on to the next job to be done. These tyres have been used, they're being reused now as a piece of furniture. Here we've got some very, very um, fine filigree sort of beautiful va vases. I haven't spoken to these guys. Hello. Um, beautiful, really thin tubes. Is it brass, that, that material? Hello. Ben Wilson from the Facebook Live team. We're just popping by. Hello, nice to meet you. Uh, what's the material you've used to here? What's the idea behind your collection here? Um, this is made from brass, and the idea behind it was to make a contemporary version of Ikebana, you know it, the Japanese art of arranging flowers. So um, it's supposed to act as a display for flowers from like wild flowers or stalks. So you see the beauty of one single flower, for example. So you're celebrating the nature and putting it on a pedestal yeah, sort of thing. Exactly. And whereabouts are you from? From Vienna, Austria. Vienna, Austria. Very international. We've got Ghana, Vienna. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the rest of the ambienta. So here we go. We've actually got the next stop. It's a rather busy stall, so we might just walk past this one actually for now and we'll come back in a moment. These guys are selling their wares. If you maybe sneak over the shot, you can hear him talking about it. They're talking a language I don't understand, but we won't, we won't interrupt too much. These guys are actually manufacturing um, glasses, so seeing eye glasses, sunglasses. The company's called Beckwood. Uh, and maybe say a quick hello. How are you? Hello. Ben Wilson from Ambienta, Facebook Live team. Hello. What was your name and where are you from and what's, what's, what are your products about? Okay, so our products are uh, glasses. Uh, we Obviously, I mean, it's pretty uh, yeah, it's good yeah, you yeah, say it, but yeah, I was just yeah, for the people out there who just, yeah. yeah okay, so it's a wooden glasses. Ah, that's that's the thing, you know. So it's wooden glasses, uh, wooden glasses. Uh, we it's a, it's a handmade in Czech Republic. So yeah, sure, you can try. You can see that it's from the layers and the CNC cut it, and then handmade there is that we need to grind it that it will have a perfect shape that without the burrs that it will not like interrupt when you when you wear it and it will be very comfortable. So so that's yeah, that's that's how we do it. And they're made in the Czech Republic. Czech? Yeah, they're yep. made in Czech Republic. Cool. By this guy, actually. Yeah. The, the, the thing you're, you're, the, you're, the, you're the brains and the designer, I, I take it. Uh, ben Wilson, nice yeah. to meet you. And the funny part is here that it's a Beckwood is that his name is family name is Beck and Wood, so Beckwood. Wow, you guys and it sounds cool, you know. So Beckwood. yeah, Beckwood. My surname and material. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a very personal thing for you, right? Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. Yeah, when he puts his family name to it, he really believes it, you know, that's how it is. Beautiful. <laughs> well, all the best for the Ambienta. Have you got any, have you had a first, the first day was good, second day was better, or what was the uh, engagement the last couple of days? Yes, I think that second day is... Uh, much better. Much better, much better, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's hope the third, third day gets even better. So enjoy the rest of the show. Take care. Great product. So we'll cruise on through here. These guys have got some animals. Uh, we had a sneak preview before. If you look at the animation on the wall, maybe it's, it sort of explains it quite well. You've got little puzzle pieces that can go together, and they're held together with magnets. And the magnets are obviously uh, buried in the wood themselves. Um, lots of custom uh, manufacturing processes, lots of custom ideas how they've made this product. And this gentleman might be able to, it, it invites us to try it here. Would you be able to demonstrate uh, for us what your product's about? Demonstrate it, yeah. All right, so the idea is that each animal is divided into uh, six pieces like this. And then let me do the demo here. And this is important that you get this. Come right in, cl come right in close, mate. All right, you ready? I should have got there the sound. Can we do it one more time? Just get the sound as well. <laughs> and whereabouts? Uh, obviously, Danish design. It says it right there. Um, the perfect combination between Danish design and what you know from Lego. So we want them both. Something <laughs> for the there. shelf and something for the kids. Cool. Yeah. Let's get that noise again, that one. All right. I'll see if I can get it. You ready? And the idea is that you can build your own animal like this and you can interchange all the parts. Build a gorilla crocodile. You know it. And that's, you, I mean, Dra dragons. Thousands of different possibilities, right? Awesome. Yeah. And it's called, it's called fab Fable Wood. Is that the idea? That's, that's the idea. Fable creatures out of, out of wood. Love it. Awesome. Well, congratulations. All the best for the rest of the Ambienta. Uh, look forward to seeing these in the shops. Thank you. He likes my glasses. Uh, as we continue through, again, the combination is very interesting. We've got such different contrasts. We've got everything from wood uh, through to tires. Here's obviously some woven uh, materials. And bark. Keep on going through. Hi, guys. Got, um, can one of you maybe say a few words as to what, we've, what we're seeing here? It looks very barky, but I'm not quite sure if it is bark. It is bark. Hi, Ben Wilson's my name. Hi from Ambienta Facebook Live. Uh, what's your name and where are you from? I'm Sarmita from Studio Sarmita. <laughs> so your name's, name's literally on the wall. I feel rather silly now. Right. I, am fr I come from Latvia, but I live and work in the uh, Netherlands, in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where also the design process is coming from. What you see here is uh, pine bark. So it comes from the pine tree, the very, very well-known pine tree that's mostly used for construction. Yep. So my uh, aim as a designer is to give this tree a, a different perspective by harvesting the material carefully, because usually it's just scrapped off and burned for energy. Then I process it, and then it becomes really flexible and pliable, and then it can be designed with oh, and worked smells. with. It smells like a forest. It does. That's incredible. I don't really influence the, the smell. It, it is a given. And, uh, but it's nice that it becomes tactile in any way, yeah. because the touch is tactile, the smell is. And what sort of things are you making from this material? Have you got special products you've got uh, planned? or? Yeah, I do. I'm fascinated myself with the softness of the bark, so I enhance it in... Uh, there's, there's this basket. Can you bring it up here? Is that... Sure. It's like a... Here's a basket I've made before. <laughs> it's like a sack, like a, like a basket, so I've, I find it nice that it's really, it stays so soft and the smell stays. It, it does. It does. Right. And besides this, I also make the rug, the carpet. A rug from pine bark. Exactly. Because okay. Like, when removing the, the bark from the tree, it does feel like taking off, you know, the, the skin of it. So it becomes really an animalistic kind of in a way. So that makes me think of the animal carpets that you have. <laughs> so what if you have a tree carpet? I really love it. So instead of having the tiger with the head and the bear with the head on the, on the floor, uh, you've literally got a tree on the floor. Right. You can, you can tell a lot about the tree from the carpet, for example, the width that comes from the, 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 the roundness of the, of the tree, the size of it. Whereas the size is always given by the industry, they work with certain sizes that are up to four meters. Yeah. So what if you, you know you have a four meter long carpet at home? And there is, a, in this case, there is a layer of felt underneath, 
with an uh, anti-slip thing mm -hmm. so that it, you don't slip on your floor. But you still see the, the branches and you see the texture just like coming from the tree. Well, congratulations. It's very, I wasn't expecting to stop here, but that's actually uh, really caught my mind, and especially the scent. I mean, even my fingers smell like I've been walking through a forest. I've got sap all over my hands. <laughs> yeah, they will stay for a while. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. Um, well, enjoy the rest of the Ambienta. Hopefully the next two days are successful as well, and uh, great product. Congratulations. Thanks for stopping See ya. Some more fabrics and things, a bit different to the cork, crayfishes. The, uh, there was one, oh, don't, don't, hide. come and get on the camera. Um, and when you go through, we've also got, uh, we had a brief discussion uh, as we walked through the first time. Good day. Um, would love to hear what your, Aska, is that your name? Aska, yeah. That means Ash in Swedish. Ah, so you're obviously from Sweden. Scandinavia, Sweden. Scandinavia. Yeah. Home of good design. So, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your products you've got hanging on the wall? Yeah. It's uh, actually recycled stuff at the beginning. Oh, really? So you're taking metal sheets and you make lots of holes in it. Then you bend it like this. Then you weld it. But it's recycled material originally? So recycled leftover piece of steel? Uh, exactly. We're trying to make it so recycled as we can. And what's the surface finish? Because it's quite, it's quite a luxurious sort of soft touch, isn't it? It's a uh, deep matte structure, uh, color powder coating. So it's like really matte structure so it's uh, supposed to be at boutique hotels because it's really hard really robust so the endur durability is important yeah. awesome yes, but it's really essential so this material is quite raw like in a factory mm -hmm. and you do it with a really soft sensual design well, you've got a beautiful contour as well it's not sort of uh, sometimes when you bend and, and work with metal you've got the, the straight line and the radius comes straight away and you've got that strange little 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 I call it the cheap the bend in the, in the it's a cheap bending process you obviously used a pretty premium bending process correct correct and this has been a hassle because <laughs> it's no really is. I've contacted 70 factories and none of them can make it but in south of Sweden we have a factory who actually can make this and it's a small family factory so it's wonderful people cool. Well, congratulations all the rest, all for the rest of the Ambienta. Hopefully you get some great visitors and some good business moving forward. Congratulations. So there we have it. And the, the closing part is obviously very bamboo heavy. If we look at the different stalls here, we've got Bana and Studio Dapur. Let's see if we can grab one of these guys. Hi, how are you? Uh, where are you guys from? What's your name? Say, say again. From Indonesia. Yeah, we're Bana Studio. We produce some um, bamboo with uh, yeah our design uh, and some uh, other material combined uh, bamboo combined with some other material from Indonesia too. Can you show me this one? Because it's quite. I mean, bamboo and bamboo. bamboo. Uh, everyone knows it. What's this one though? Firm. Firm is like a grass uh, with uh, some process like uh, drying uh, by the sun and then uh, in knitting into this, like this. Beautiful. It's a lovely new combination. The color, the, is that the natural color tone? Uh, yes, this is natural co color, right? Well, thank you very much. Thank Bana you. Studio in the Talents area. New materials, and uh, bamboo's been around and been, been coming along for quite some time. Um, but to see new combinations of materials always always interesting. New patterns, hello. And that's the Talents area in 2019. Uh, lots of different materials, lots of different things to uh, touch and feel, so tactile experiences. The guys with the glasses. Um, do you like this one as well? Hello. You've made an interesting uh, surface finish there, no? Yeah. It's a made of foam, so the texture, there's a two contrasting texture in here. Uh, there's a soft texture and a rough texture. That's why I try to uh, expose these two contrasting texture. And how have you done that? Yes. Uh, how, how with a machine or with hand? Uh, the technique is similar to wood carving. So it's a carving technique, which is traditional. So mm -hmm. you obviously mark it with a pattern, then you dig away the parts you don't want. Yes, yes. So I, I try to mark the pattern first. And after that, it's very similar to carving and engraving process. Yeah, I'll, I'll carve it. So you don't need like a cover over the top. The material itself becomes a seat. 
Yes, yes. So it's, it's, it's actually a very similar material to uh, we use in the sofa, mm -hmm. but I try to expose what's inside the sofa so mm -hmm. people can actually see what's inside the sofa. By taking away the decorative covers and all the protective covers, you've celebrated the material inside? Yes, of course. I try to bring something what's not really... Sometimes it's something that we not really see, but right now I try to expose it. Well, congratulations and enjoy the rest of the Ambiente 2019. Thank you. So there we have it. It's literally written on the floor. Talents area. Uh, come on down, check it out. There's a lot going on. And what I advise when you come to these talents areas, talk to these guys. They're young, they're dynamic, they've got uh, stories to tell, they've got their experience, they've got their products obviously. And uh, I think even for some of the bigger brands and the companies here, you, you can you can come and get in contact with the next generation of thinking or maybe new ideas for your for your own portfolio. So. Come down and check it out. Uh, have a great afternoon. We'll see you in a bit. Bye.